Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Yomi Brown of Yomi Crocheology. So these are the things that we will be needing for this project. Yarn, this is 55% cotton and 45% acrylic and it's a color of 124 or a teal green. And this is the information here and this is from Hobby. Um, needle to stitch our project together, fabric glue, type measure, your hook, this is 3.75 millimeter hook, a scissors and some stitch markers and of course a skirt that fits you and um, you want to use as a guide for sizing. So lay down your skirt and measure uh, the waist. This one here is 14 and a half um, inches. So we will do a bend for the waistline that is long as 14 and a half inches once fold in half. So grab your yarn. I have two strands of yarn here and a 3.75 millimeter hook and start your work however you're comfortable with and then a chain of 20. So one, two, three, four, five, and 20. So this is the foundation chain. 20. If you don't know what foundation chain is, please refer in the card above how to make a foundation chain and a chain of two. And then skip the two chains and on the third chain make a half double crochet. So one, two, oops, two, three, four, and five. So you have to make a half double crochet in the entire 20. So we're at the end of this row now. We'll just have to do some few stitches to close this off. And this is what it looks like. And then a chain of two to start the next row and turn your work. In the next stitch, you have to make another half double crochet there. That's one and two and three, four and five. And the same pattern until you reach at the end of this row and I'll meet you there. So here we are now at the end of this um, 20 half double crochets. We'll just have to finish it off and make sure your last half double crochet should be in the top of the chain two that you made in the first part of the row, okay, to make our work straight. This is the second row looks like and then you have to continue doing that until you have a 94 rows of this and make sure your last stitch should be in the top of the double crochet I mean two chains that you make in the first row so we're here now we have 94 rows of half double crochet 20 half double crochets across that is for small size um, yeah small to medium size so if you needed more Obviously, you'll just have to add more rows and make sure you left um, a bit longer um, tail at the end. So we can use that to do the attaching of each end of this um, crochet piece. And then get to your needle and we will start stitching together this thing. And make sure the right side is facing each other. So you're basically facing the wrong side. And remove your stitch marker and start stitching your work or attaching your work together just basic stitches nothing fancy then snip off your yarn and flip your work um, right side facing you and use this one here as a guide where is your middle and attach the stitch marker in the front part of the waistband so you will know where is the middle of this project and then we always start our work at the back where we attached the waistband together so you start attaching your yarn and then chain of one and half double crochet in the entire waistband so this is quite tricky in this part because we don't have a nice stitches to work into but just use a um, whatever is available to you. So you just have to half double crochet evenly around the waistband. So we're at the end of this row. So you have to skip this. Um, let's assume this is three stitches here. Okay, and then we will chain three. One, two, three. And slip stitch in the first chain you made. Okay, so we will be using this hole later. 
So in this row, this is the increase part, so a chain of one, and then the next stitch you have to half double crochet. So in the next 10 stitches, you have to half double crochet. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So in the next stitch after 10, you have to half double crochet um, in the same stitch, two half double crochet in the same stitch or increase. Okay, that is increase there. And repeat the pattern until you reach at the other side of your waistband and I'll meet you there. So we're at the end of this row now. We'll just have to do the last few half double crochets and make sure you include these three chains that we made from the previous round. Okay, so we'll put the half double crochets there just to make it um, the same as the pattern. Okay, so um, three half double crochets, so that's one, and two, and three. Okay, and then this is the start of another row, okay, in this part here. So half double crochet in the next few stitches. This time you need 15 half double crochets, so that's two, and three, and four, five, and 14 and 15 okay so after your 15 stitches please um, remember this one the first half double crochet that we made put a stitch marker in there so we will remember where we started because this one it kind of like aligned our work to, okay and then increase after your 15 half double crochet so increase is two half double crochets together Okay, this is the pattern, 15 half double crochets and increase. Repeat that until the end. So we're at the end now, 15 and increase. Okay, so this is the last um, few stitches in this row. And of course, you have to include the chain that we made from two rows previous. And just half double crochet normal. And then remove the stitch marker and just slip stitch in that stitch where your stitch marker was. Okay. So chain of two, one and two, and put your stitch marker back again. Um, these are the two rows that has increased. And our next row will be just chain one and a double crochet without increase. Okay, so the same pattern except we didn't increase after 10 or after 15. So just double crochet around the waistband. And make two rows of this pattern. So we're at the end of this row now. We'll just have to finish it off with a few stitches and of course slip stitch in the first two chain that you made in the first um, round. Okay, so I have two rows of double crochet without increase, this one and that one. Okay, this is what our skirt looks like now. So it looks like a curved in the side and we want that. So get your stitch marker and put each one of the stitch marker in each side, okay? That is to indicate us that that's where we will decrease every time you reach in that part of your project, okay? So stitch marker there tells you that you have to decrease because that's your side. So we have this um, straight side, just like this cut. We want it straight. So we'll start a row the same as we started with the other row, but make sure that every time you reach in this stitch marker, you decrease. So chain of two, one and two, and double crochet in the next stitches. So just double crochet, so one, two, three, oops, sorry, four, five, and six. So do just double crochet until you reach in the first stitch marker. Now we're reaching our stitch marker, so obviously you have to double crochet in the next two stitches. This is the last two stitches before your stitch marker. So one and two. And this time you can remove the stitch marker and in that stitch where the stitch marker was, you have to decrease. So wrap your yarn, insert your hook in the stitch and wrap your yarn, pull it through, wrap your yarn, insert it again in the next stitch and wrap your yarn around the hook, pull it through till the first two yarns in your hook and pull it through till the end. Okay, so that's what a decrease looks like. Okay, so continue your pattern of a double crochet in the next few stitches until you reach again to the next stitch marker in this side and all the way to the back where we started. So we're at the end of this row. So this is a stitch marker at the back and then we have to slip stitch it into the first two chains 
of two that we made. Okay, so this is what the skirt looks like. It has a nice curve in the side because of the decrease. So continue doing that until you have enough to cover your um, bum area and the front. Okay, so if you have curved bum or you're taller, you need more rows. So in my case, I only need 10 rows of this half double crochet with a decrease in the side. So I'm done with my 10 rows of double crochet with decrease in the sides. As you can see, it has a nice line or curve in the side. It's aligned with a skirt. So again, in this row, we have to add five rows of double crochets without decrease. So start with two chains. So one and two and your normal double crochet in the next stitches so do the double crochets around your skirt normal don't decrease don't increase just double crochet around the skirt and you have to have five rows of double crochets around your skirt before we can proceed to this slit and i'll meet you there so we're done with our five rows double crochet without decreasing the side. So this is what the skirt looks like now. So in this step, I already cut off my yarn at the back. And this time we will be working from the front, in the front, okay? So first is you decide which side you want your slit. It's either on this side or in this side, okay? So in my case, I want this side here. So I have to count 21 double crochets from the side all the way to the middle. And this is my 21 double crochet and I will put my stitch marker there to indicate that that's our starting point and we'll be working from here all the way or all around your skirt and back. Okay, so again, as I've mentioned, I already cut off my yarn to back and we will be starting here. So attach your yarn, however you're comfortable in attaching a yarn, okay? And then chain of three, one, two, and three. And in the next stitches, you have to double crochet or you have to double crochet around the skirt. No increase, no decrease this time, just double crochet. So that's two and three and four. So we're here at the end of this row now. We'll just have to do some double crochets to end this row. Okay, so that's um, your one and two and three. So that's the last three double crochets for this row. So instead of connecting your stitches or work together, you don't need to do that anymore. Instead, remove your stitch marker and then we will double crochet into the stitch where we um, attach our yarn or our first stitch okay so in that hole there you have double crochet in there just to make the work meet in the center or they meet and form a v shape okay and turn your work in chain of one oops sorry and skip that stitch there and insert your hook into the next to make a double crochet so that's one double crochet just to make it a little V shape and two double crochet, three, oops, three, four, and five. So continue doing double crochets around your skirt until you reach at the end. So we're at the end now. This is our last um, three stitches. So one and Two, so don't mind that um, thread there that's where I connect my yarn so that's two double crochet and three okay so we just end um, double crochet don't decrease or do anything okay so continue this pattern so so continue this pattern of chain one in the beginning and double crochet in the rest of the stitches just to make it nice V shape, but it's not too wide or too open. That's why we didn't decrease in the beginning nor decrease at the end. We just um, do our normal double crochets, right? And you have to add five more rows of that pattern. Okay, or if you are taller, again, you need more rows before we can proceed to our open work um, pattern. We're here at the end of this row. I just finished my five rows of double crochet without increase, without decrease. Okay, so this is the end. I have five rows here. Now I can snip off my yarn. Uh, 
14 and a half inches long skirt okay so if you are taller again you have to add more rows especially at the back side um, you need more coverage in there because you actually like um smaller compared to the front side so if you have rounder bum just add more rows until you're happy with the length okay and i have here um five rows of this double crochets from the slit and it's enough for me so in your case just add more if you needed more and we can proceed to our open work um, pattern <music> into the next stitch so that's one and skip two stitches so one and two and then on the third stitch that's where you will put your petal so petal is three sets of double crochets together so this is one okay and two so wrap your yarn pull it through wrap your yarn pull it through Wrap your yarn, insert your hook, and wrap your yarn, pull it through. Wrap your yarn and pull it through. And you have four yarns in your hook. And wrap your yarn and pull it through to close it. And chain of two. So it should look like this. So you have to make another two of that petal in the same stitch. Okay, so that's one. And two. And three. So this is the second petal that is composed of three double crochets together, chain of two. And then again, repeat the pattern of three double crochets together in the same stitch. So that's one and two and three. Okay. Oops. Sorry. And wrap your yarn and pull it through till the end. So you should have three petals or three double crochets together in one petal. And chain of one and skip two stitches. One and two and then on the third make a single crochet. Okay, so that's our petal. Again, I'll show you guys and you have to skip two stitches. And on the third stitch you have to insert your hook there and make a double crochet together so that's two and three so double crochet together three double crochets together and pull it through and chain of two one in two again make three double crochets together in the same stitch to create the second petal so that's two double crochet three double crochet together Okay, and wrap your yarn and pull it through to close it in chain of two. And again, for the last um, time, make another petal to complete the three sets of petals. So two and three. And wrap your yarn and pull it through till the end. So you have three double crochets together in one petal. So one, two, three, skip two. And then on the third stitch, you have to insert your hook and make a single crochet. Repeat this pattern around the skirt. And we're at the end of this row now. This is our last petal. And pull it through and single crochet in the last stitch that you have. So this is what it looks like. And chain of three, one, two, and three and turn your work okay so we will proceed to another pattern so triple crochet in the same stitch where your chain three is so triple crochet is wrap your yarn pull it through wrap your yarn and pull it through wrap your yarn and pull it through and on the top or in the middle petal uh, make a single crochet and in the single crochet from the previous round that one there you have to make three triple crochet so this is one and two and three okay and then in single crochet and the top of the middle petal from the previous round so this is what it looks like the pattern again three triple crochet in the top of single crochet from the previous row so that's one and two and three so you have to single crochet in the top of the 
and single crochet in the top of the middle petal and I'll meet you at the end of this row. So we're at the end of this row now, I'll just have to single crochet at the top of the middle of the petal and then we will end a row in this stitch, the last part here, this one. So make a triple crochet two times, so two triple crochet in the same stitch. So one, oops, one and two, okay? And this is the end of this row, this is what it looks like. And then turn your work. So this time we will repeat the petal pattern, this one here, the fan or the petal pattern. So chain of three, one in two in three, and make a triple crochet in the same stitch where your chain of three is. So that's one, okay, and then chain of one, and again in the same stitch where your triple crochet and a chain of three is, make a double crochet together, so that's one double crochet two and three so double crochet together is three double crochets together and wrap your yarn oops wrap your yarn and pull it through okay and then chain of one so on the top of the single crochet that you made from the previous round you do a single crochet there okay something like this and then a chain of one and then in the top of three triple crochet from the previous round in the middle you have to make the fan or the petal Okay, in the middle, so one, two, and three. So this is our first set of petal or double crochets together. Pull it through and chain of two, one into, and again repeat the pattern. So one into and three. So this is the second set or um, double crochets together, and then chain of three, I mean two. And then the last petal, so one, in two, and three. Okay, so petal means three double crochets together, and then pull it through and chain of one. And then at the top of the single crochet from the previous round, you have to single crochet in there. Okay, that's what it looks like now. So I lay my skirt down and see the pattern. So you have to make this pattern repeatedly until you're happy with the length. In my case, I need seven rows of this pattern. So I am in my seventh row. So I'll just have to close this row, which is three um, double crochet together. So that's two and three. Okay, and then wrap your yarn around your hook and pull it through. And then chain of one and then triple crochet um, two times, triple crochet in the same stitch. Okay, so that's one and two. Okay, so make sure when you want to end your row, make sure you stopped or you ended in the petal pattern, okay? Because it's a lot prettier in that case. So as I've mentioned before, I have seven rows of this beautiful open work pattern. But if you're taller or you have rounder bum, you have to do more rows of this one. So get your yarn and needle. This time we will use the holes at the back of our skirt. If you remember this hole here that I've mentioned before, we will be using that now. Just um, insert your needle and start stitching just a normal stitches okay and then pull it to make that scrunchy look or scrunchy effect at the back of your skirt to look like a ribbon okay and then obviously you have to make it a little bit sturdy i have to stitch it back and forth so it's a little bit sturdy and it will not um, come off in later days or you know as i use the skirt Snip off all your threads and glue the ends if that is your way of ending your project or if you are more comfortable of waving the ends then you are very much welcome to do that. It's attached the buttons here so this is optional if you want it to match up with the top. So I have the same buttons here, the wooden one and we're done. This is what our skirt looks like and it's pretty cute and I really like it.